Sorry, wrong number. A warning tonight about a text message scam in which the sender appears to be looking for romance, but they text the wrong person. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny is digging into how the scam works and what you should do if you get one of these text messages. Many people are leery of robocalls, which is why so many scammers are now using text messages. The Better Business Bureau says if you respond, you could suffer serious consequences. The text message might seem innocent. You get a random message from someone you don't know. They're trying to meet up with someone from a dating app or website, but it appears the person has the wrong number. Many people respond, sorry, wrong number or wrong person. That's when the scammer launches the attack, sending a picture of a young woman and trying to start a conversation. It happened to Sadie Roussel. I asked if I was Ivan. They said their name was Veda um, and that we matched on Bumble, which I have never had Bumble, so I already knew that, you know, <laughs> it wasn't me. Sadie politely responded they had the wrong number. She continued talking to me, which I already thought was weird, um, saying like, holy cow, how did I just message a random guy and blah, 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 and then sent me a selfie. <laughs> Even though Sadie stopped responding, the texter kept trying to engage, and she's not the only target. Jennifer Adamani got a similar text. And it had a message, sorry, I didn't respond, and that actually had a picture of a young woman who uh, was not fully clothed. Jennifer works for the Better Business Bureau, so she knew not to respond. What's the lesson there about responding? Yeah, even if you know it's a scam attempt and you just want to um, string them along, you again are letting them know that your phone is active and so they might realize that you knew better this time, but they might then come back to you with a different type of scam. So why are scammers taking this approach? I think they probably think it's pretty innocent enough, um, although some of the pictures they send are definitely not innocent. Bottom line, the scammers want your money, your personal information, or something else. They might want to then solicit photos of yourself that they can then later use for blackmail. You can report these texts to the Federal Trade Commission, the BBB scam tracker, and to your wireless provider. Once you've reported it, delete the message. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. You can protect yourself by checking any text or email for spelling and grammatical errors. Safeguard your personal information and photos. Scammers may try to solicit personal information through methods such as cold calls, text messages, or even emails. Also remember, any photo uploaded on social media can be stolen and used by a scammer. It's